Well, greetings, everyone. This is Pastor Alan Baggett with today's Victory Church, and I have our word for the week for you, or for the day. We're starting a brand new week, and uh, I'm excited about what's happening. Our kids are going to youth camp uh, this week. They're cranking up to do that right now, and it's going to be a great week for them. We're praying for some spiritual renewal to take place in their lives, and and just that extra spiritual punch that they get in their lives while they're at uh, youth camp every summer. So we'll be praying for our kids as they go forth and, and do that. But this morning I want to bring a word and speak into your life. And it's in John chapter 7, verse 38. And it says this, Whosoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, rivers of living water will flow from within them. Whosoever believes in me, rivers of living water will flow from within them. Amen. The Lord wants you to be alive from the inside out. He wants his life, that life of God, to be like a river flowing from within you. He wants you to be alive. And you know, we can walk through life and we live life. We Actually, we can live life and actually never be alive. Almost like a dead man walking. And good morning, Miss Brenda. Good to see you <clears throat> this morning. And we can, be, we can be like that, but you don't have to be like that. God wants you to be alive. He wants you to be alive from the inside out. He wants his life to spring up inside of you. He wants a a river of living water to begin to flow and spring out inside of your soul. Not just on the outside, but from the inside. And that can happen. You know, I uh, not only can it happen, it should happen. It should be going on all the time. I have so many people that I care about and that are really dear to my life. That I watch on a daily basis. Some, or maybe not on a daily basis, but even on, but on a weekly basis, and if not on a weekly basis, but definitely in some type of pattern or routine, that uh, just become despondent. They uh, withdraw, they uh, pull away, and uh, they have a sad countenance on their face, and they're always looking down, they're always preoccupied, and, and you know that something's heavy on their spirit, and there's and something's heavy on their life, and you're trying to speak into them, and you just seem that you can't get through. You know, I watch that, and my spirit just breaks because I know that they can be alive. And not just alive for a moment, not just alive for a day, but the springs of living water can spring up inside of them every day. And it's the same thing for you that are watching today, and they're watching on replay, that are watching on YouTube, that are watching through ever how this is shared. You can be alive. You can be alive. Good morning, Miss Sally. Good to see you today. We, we, we got to be alive. Yes, Miss Brenda, that's great. We have to have water to survive. We need lit. We, we've got to have the living water. As you believe in Him, this life can begin to flow like a river. But it takes. It, it says in John seven thirty eight, whoever believes in me. We have to have a belief. Not just in Christ as our Savior, but as Christ as our source. And when we begin to believe Him beyond just our Savior and begin to believe Him in Him as our source, I'm just telling you whatever circumstance you're in, uh, you can still have peace and you can still have joy and you can still have this living water flowing up in you. I promise you, I have plenty of situations and I promise you I battle with this very thing all the time my my nature is to have an a b c and d plan my nature is to try to I want to know every little thing that's going to happen and and I can't do that and have faith in God at the same time so I have to work on having this river of living water flowing through my life in fact sometimes Teresa gets on to me because I'm saying something and I'm not really meaning it to be a negative thing uh, it's just the reality of something we're looking at. And she said, don't confess that. Don't confess that. And she's actually right about that. But so don't, don't confess that. But I'm just, I'm just acknowledging what the situation is. But, uh, but you can't allow that to, uh, 
affect your living water. You can't allow that to affect your peace. You can't allow that to affect your joy. And it definitely can in a, in a super heartbeat. But God is saying right here, His living water can come in and bring new life to your heart and bring new life to your soul. It is a life-giving thing. So today, as you go into today, as we start this week, I don't care what your situation is. I don't care if you're short on this, if you're short on that. I don't, I don't care if your circumstance seems rather impossible right now. I am just telling you whatever your heart is right now, if it is not filled with peace and joy and the living water of our Lord Jesus Christ, I am telling you it can be and you can walk through this day with joy and peace. You can walk through this day with be, uh, um, walking alive from the inside. From the inside now. You don't have to put on a show. You don't have to put on a fake smile. You don't have to uh, just act like everything's all right. You don't have to be anything like that. You can be alive and living water flow out from inside of you today. No matter what's going on, no matter the situation, no matter the circumstance, no matter what the day brings, it can happen. He wants his life, the life of God, to be alive within you. He wants you to be alive from inside out, and he wants to flow through you like a living water to spring up out of your soul and to, uh, to spring up out of your soul to bring you peace, to bring you joy, and to bring you life. So you're just not living, but you're alive. Amen. Just not living, but you're alive. His living water. His living water. You know what? <clears throat> He's more than a savior. He's my source. He's more than just a friend. He is my source. Everything comes from there. Everything comes from him. Amen? Amen. Well, that's my encouraging word today. Take that today and get, spring up in your spirit. Whatever it takes for you today to let that river begin to spring up out of you, take that time, do it. Take that time and do it. Amen. And let the rivers of living water spring up out of your soul. I'm about to pray with you. I encourage you today to take this message and to uh, share it on Facebook. Go to our YouTube channel. And you can share it. Uh, you can watch it on the YouTube channel as, as a replay on there. You can copy the link and text it to anybody you want to. Encourage other people to start listening to these words so that they too can have life. They too can be encouraged. Amen? So I encourage you to do that. But before I get off today, I am going to pray over every one of you. Father, I pray that your living water will start to flow afresh in every one of our lives. Father, I know that you have life-giving flow which can only come from you and flowing from your very being. Father, I know that you're more than just a savior, Father, but you are our, you are our source. So I ask, Father, this morning, as we go into the start of this new week, as we go into this day, that, Father, that springs of living water will begin to rise up in each and every person, Father. Their strength will begin to rise up. And Father, because of that water that's washing us clean, it's washing us clean. Hallelujah. Father, that joy will spring up and peace will spring up as we go to our source. Father, I'd make a declaration to you right now and to everyone that's listening in this prayer. You are more than my Savior. You are my source. You're more than my friend. You are my supply. So we thank you, Father, for that now. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you guys. That river will never run dry. It will always be flowing. All you have to do is allow it to spring up and step in. Amen. God bless you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. 9, 9, 30-ish in that area right there. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow.